Hi, I'm Chris and we are JCD. In this week's episode, I personally tackle a jet washing job at a cricket training ground. The team do a fantastic job on a technical floor clean in London. And guess what? I'm on holiday once again. Let's roll the footage. Welcome back to another episode of We Are JCD. It's Monday morning and guess what? Your boy is on the tools today. I am over in Twickingham. I've got five cricket, well I don't know what they're called, creases, rums, whatever they are, practice nets basically that need jet washing. Unfortunately James is away, a few of the other lads are busy so it needs to be done today. We didn't get it done last time so I have got to come here today. So I've got my jet wash, I've got everything set up behind me, so we're just about to get started. So you can see your man has still got it. So let's get the old jet wash going and let's get these cricket pitches clean. So that one's all done, we finished all five. To be honest with you, next time the client needs to get a little bit better in terms of people not using the pitches. For some reason, even though we told them we were coming today, there was plenty of people coming up. I can see I'm jet washing in a particular one, but that's the one they always use or the one they like to use or whatever it may be. Then one of the managers has come up to me saying, oh, uh, sorry mate, but you're, we're trying to film in the clubhouse and your orange is ruining the shot. I mean." you know we're trying to get a job done which we've done um, but a little bit difficult next time a few lessons learned and we can manage it a little bit better on the next occasion so that wraps up today guys i've been here all day it's about three o'clock now i'm going to head back home and then i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow where i've got a little bit more managerial stuff to do at jcd hq so that wraps up monday see you in the morning Yes gang, it is Tuesday and we are down at JCD HQ. Yesterday I was obviously out all day carrying out that jet washing job. Customer got back to me, they were happy with the results. To be honest with you, I, I think you could have done with a little bit more time on that particular job. But there was lots of people around that were, they could see that we're doing the work and they still wanted to use the facilities there. Even though we did let the customer know that we were going to be there on that particular day and that it's probably best that no one uses the facilities. But anyway, we got the results that we wanted. I mean, it just makes the life a little bit more difficult, especially when you pre plan the work. But we got it over the line and um, I'm pleased to see the back of that one. And then the next time, at least we know what we're up against when it comes to that particular project. To be honest with you guys, this week is a little bit of a quiet week for me. Um, the boys have got plenty on. They've just done a floor cleaning job in the city for one of the restaurants we've done. Adam put some pictures here. <laughs> Um, what they had to do is strip off years worth of polish on this particular job and then repolish it um, to make it look nice and shiny, nice and new, just freshen it up. It took them a couple of nights to do, it had to be done out of hours because this restaurant is open till 11 a.m. Uh, 11 p.m. excuse me, be some restaurant it was open that late. So they've done that and there's good results, clients happy which is always the end driver. Um, we've had these restaurants for some time now, and it's nice, to be honest with you, they've always rebuttaled when you say, oh, well, you could have this extra work done, probably for cost reasons, which is understandable. Um, but yeah, so that one was done last night, which is a good job, success, and the customer was really happy. I've been with Mitchell this morning, just doing some bits and pieces. We've got some big stuff coming up, drainage-wise, that I've mentioned previously, and I've been spending a little bit of time with him today. Tomorrow, I've got an ultra quiet day. I've got to go and meet a customer in the morning. And then I'll be honest with you guys, this is going to be a short weekly episode because I am actually going away to Spain. A friend of mine has a place in Spain. I'm going out there with a couple of um, associates of ours um, and my friend. 
and we are going to be playing some golf, four rounds of golf actually, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes in the heat. Um, golf's also really good for networking, that's why I like doing that, and a couple of the guys that are going, they have their own businesses, so it'll be interesting to see what comes out of that, what relationships we can do. So I'm down at JCD HQ. I'm going to be honest with you, the rest of the afternoon, I am going to be doing bits of paperwork ready for my meeting tomorrow. A customer at one of our key accounts has asked to see me. She hasn't told me what it's about just yet. Um, she asked if we could have a catch up over coffee. So I'm assuming it's nothing too serious and not urgent. But of course, I will let you guys know how it goes tomorrow. Catch you then. What's happening team, it's Wednesday and I've left a little detail out for you guys this week. This evening I am going away, I'm going to Spain. I've got a friend, he's got a place out there, we're going out there to play some golf. So this week is going to be a slightly shorter episode for you guys. But like I always say on the channel, this is really a bit of a diary for me really. It's just fortunate enough that you guys get to come along for the journey. So we're going out to Alicante. Four days, I am back on Sunday, so we will have regular programming next week, Monday. But for now, that's gonna wrap up this week's We Are JCD, a shorter episode, but I'm going out to practice my golf swing. I'll see you guys on next week's episode.